Hello everyone. This video is about common emitter amplifier with emitter degeneration. Previously, we have already made another video on the same topics, but we have used pi models to resolve it. Pi model is a bit complicated. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve the, uh, this kind of circuit using T model. T model will be much easier. To start with, let's start with the uh, uh, general common emitter amplifier with emitter degeneration. Uh, we have a uh, common emitter light amplifier. The only exception here is the tail resistance. And with the tail resistance here, the, uh, the thing is a lot more complicated. And it's complicated because you use a uh, pi, no, pi model. But if you use uh, a T model, it's much easier. Uh, the first thing that we need to know, um, that we need to do is to replace the transistor with, with what the uh, T model. Uh, and let's remember what the T model looks like. Uh, it is uh, a it begins with a, uh, a, a, a current source. So let's do it. And EM times VBE, okay? And the main difference is here is connected to uh, GM, 1 over GM. And IB, and this is the B terminal. And the B terminal is in turn connected to the source voltage, the signal source. This is E terminal and this is the C terminal. And do not forget that uh, there is a early effect. The early effect is here. Uh, and it is connected to uh, R log to here. Now the question is, uh, uh, no, there is no, isn't any question. Right? The rest is down here. What we need to do is to 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 to, uh, to do the the rest, right? The output is to be taken from here, and the output is connected to RC, and RC is connected to the ground. So we do that. And we have a we have a tail resistance. And RC. So this is the equivalent circuit. This equivalent circuit is equivalent to this one. And uh, it may not be easy for you to resolve it right away because of the presence of the early event. The current going in here and going there, well, it is complicated. To solve the problem, what, we, what I suggest is we approximate the uh, analog here. And what we can do is, instead of having this end, the end of uh, analog to be connected to this point here, 
we can uh, we can do this to connect it to the ground. So the our rock is going to be modified to here. Right? Yes. And the value of our rock by, by connecting to the ground, the value of our rock is not the same. It's going to be scaled up by one over by, by one plus GM times E R E. Uh, so I am going to write down here uh, the actual resistance in this point is not uh, R rock anymore. It's still up. So the value here is going to be R not one plus G M times R E. So this is the very important part. And now everything will be done here. Uh, I'm going to find the voltage. Uh, output input voltage. Uh, what we can do is uh, um, uh, there are many columns here, right? This is the current IC. Uh, yeah, and we also have a column here. Uh, we, let's say this column is IC dash, yeah? The IC dash is the collector column without the early effect. The IC is the collector column uh, with the uh, early effect. So now everything will be down here now. Uh, what we can do is start from, let's start from here. I see that. And I think this is the easiest way. I see that is equal to GM and EBE. And VBE uh, is the voltage from here to here. Okay? This is very important. Uh, actually, we don't really need that. We don't really need that. I tell you what. Uh, you can start from here. We, we don't look at this voltage. This is confusing. And that's why you really need to learn T model. Uh, by looking at here, the voltage V in is equivalent to the current times this bound to uh, resistance. And what is this current? This current is I E. Yeah? Uh, so V in is equal to I E and times the resistance here. One over G M plus R E. So immediately we get some relief now. Uh, instead of going through a lot of manipulation to find our, uh, the, the, the voltage, right? we, we can say we can safely say uh, VE is this amount. And how about the output voltage? Yeah, the output voltage. Uh, we can do that. Uh, I see that. Uh, I C dash is equal to yeah the output voltage divided by the resistance here. Yeah. So V out and then yeah, what is the resistance? Uh, we have two resistance combined in parallel. So the, to calculate this IC we need to divide uh, uh, the uh, VL has to divided by the parallel equipment of these two. So RC in parallel with this amount. And 
And do not forget that uh, I see death is more or less equals to I D. Yeah, approximately is the same. Uh, uh, this one is equal to beta I P, and this one is going to be one plus beta I P. So basically, they are just the value of almost the same. Uh, you don't need to. Uh, Further manipulate the expression. So, uh, uh, C, I, C dash is more or less equal to I, D. Then, the voltage gain is going to be V out divided by V in. And according to here, uh, Oh, yeah, actually, oh. Oh, let's say I substitute two into one. So just do two into one, right? So we in is equal to uh, V out, and then I see. Yeah. And then the uh, pressure on the far right is 1 plus GM RE and then divided by uh, so the rest is going to be downhill. Uh, and don't forget that uh, there is a minus here. Yeah? I almost get it wrong. Uh, the output for input is going to be GM and this amount. And divided by uh, 1 over GM. So again, we end up with the same conclusion. We end up with exactly the same formula as we did uh, from the previous chapter. Uh, so now the rest is down here. And if, we, if you, we want to know the input resistance, well, this is much easier. Uh, the input resistance is going to be the in times uh, 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 divided by IP. And we can continue, yeah? Uh, we can uh, we can say uh, the E and then uh, uh, beta and then I uh, beta plus one, yeah? uh, IE. And how are we going to cover the IE? Uh, simple. The E one plus beta, and then we in, yes, the voltage divided by this term of expression, okay? IE plus GM. Uh, so, uh, with this in mind, you can quickly find out the input resistance is going to be this much, and then uh, times GM. Let me see. G, um, yes. Uh, and then one plus G M R G. I'm not sure. Yes. This is it. Oh, so, um, this one is similar to beta times GM. Then beta times GM is the um, Let me see. Uh, 
This one divided by this much. And this one is ah that's wrong. <laughs> this is divided. Ah, I got it wrong here, yeah. So uh, if we do that, um, we will end up with the TM um uh, We will end up with this one here, okay? Almost get wrong, okay? RE plus 1 over GM. So if we do that, then uh, we can safely say uh, the And then uh, one plus T M R G. Either divided by G M is R pi. So again, we end up with the same conclusion as before. The input resistance is scaled up by one plus G M R G. Uh, so we write down the important conclusion here. And RE, yeah, again we have to remind ourselves. And what else do we need? And perhaps we might be interested in uh, current gain as well. The current gain is easy. And we can just do this, right? Uh, current gain. Uh, the outward current is equal to. The input current is IP, which is uh, this amount, okay? Uh, according to what we have got here, uh, this one, yeah? This one. I in is equal to V in divided by R in. V in and what is R in? Oh, it's here, right? Now, uh, the current gain is simple. G is the current gain, I out, I in, and I out is this amount. I in is this amount. Okay, so finally, uh, the rest is downhill. We have got the voltage gain here. I'm not going to, um, to write down everything. Uh, so what you need to do is to uh, work out the voltage gain according to this expression, and then uh, he times this amount. So this is going to be your current gain. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Please leave your questions to the comments box. And if you have time, we can try to address your questions.
And thank you very much for attending the lectures. Uh, have a nice day.